Good evening again. Thanks for staying with News 5 at 10. I'm Rob Quirk. Elizabeth has the night off and our focus tonight remains the condition of Colorado Springs police officer Jem Dizell, a five year veteran of the force who worked out of the Sand Creek substation, critically wounded in a shootout early this morning. We begin our coverage with News 5's Katie Blaze at Memorial Hospital, where Officer Dizell continues to fight for his life. Katie. Yeah, Rob, Officer Duzell is currently undergoing treatment here at Memorial Central. Now, we learned just a few hours ago that Colorado Springs, from Colorado Springs Police, that Officer Duzell's family did arrive here in town and is now here with him. And it's not the only support that he's getting. Colorado Springs Police Officer Jem Duzell is the fourth Colorado officer to be shot in the line of duty just this year. It's discouraging. Tammy Murphy lives in the area where Officer Duzell was shot. I heard boom, boom, boom. And all she can ask now. Is he going to make it? They, they said he may, or may not. For Anselma Gonzalez, who also lives nearby. I just wish all these crooks would get off the street. And you guys are doing a good job. It's just like devastating. Good luck to him and his family and all the officers. I'll say a prayer. This violent situation personally affecting fellow neighbor Skylar Shockley. My family is law enforcement, and so the fact that one of our men in blue was injured, it really hits close to home. It's a devastating situation for all of Colorado Springs, but the community staying strong in the midst of uncertainty. Uh, at this point, I'm really hoping that the officer pulls through. Um, I really hope he makes it for his family and for you know everyone here in Colorado Springs. We're all rooting for him. And we will continue to keep you updated on Officer Duzell's condition as we get more information. Stay with us both here and online at KOAA.com. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Katie Blaze, News 5.